everyone, it's Daphne. I'm back from Scrap and Create. Today I'm going to work on finishing the uh, 7x7 mini album and I'm going to be working on adding the um, flaps and pockets to the base album to get it ready uh, for the designer paper, the deluxe collector edition of Tropical Travelogue from Graphic 45. But today, um, or at least in this segment of the video, we're going to focus on getting the flaps and pockets in place. And then in the next installment, we're going to add all the designer layers. Okay. So with that, we'll get started. Um, I got get your tools out. Now, same thing, same drill. Uh, pick tool, something to write with. Uh, exacto knife, your bone folder, some scissors. I like to use my paper clips. A couple of straight edges. Get your score tape ready, and you'll need to start with a seven by seven mini album base. So that's what we're going to actually start with. We're not going to build the seven by seven. We're going to start with a finished seven by seven, and then. Um, after we get, get all the um, custom flaps in, we'll be layering in all the paper from this uh, designer collection uh, from Graphic 45, which is the Tropical Travelogue. It's very colorful, very beautiful. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So let's take our 7x7. Seven seven, let's open it on up to our first page. Not going to peel up the sides yet. We're just going to put in the bottom. Um, and that's because the designer paper needs to slip behind it. So we'll go ahead and add that. Um, I'm just now sitting down, so hopefully I'll stay in frame for you guys. Um, most of my other flaps, in fact, I think all my other flaps, I've gone ahead and pre-taped uh, and pre-scored. So this should go pretty quickly. And then we get to the good stuff, all the color. So we're gonna do three out of four um, for the pocket and adhere it to the inside cover and the size of Okay, and that's going to go here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bottom piece off and adhere it to the to the inside cover, but leave these on, and then we'll take these off after we slip our designer paper in. I'm going to burnish that. Get my pick tool. And we'll lay that down real quick to the inside cover. All right. It looks pretty good. And then again, we'll take those two little tabs off once we slip our designer paper in. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the back. Go ahead and add my tape. And hopefully you can see a banner running across right now too. Um, as with all my videos, if you click the more button, you will see where to get our supplies, but you'll also see the cut list. So if you wanna print that out in advance, I will also always try to run a banner um, as I'm working through the album. So in addition to having a, the list that you can print, I'll also try to run the banner through right when I'm actually uh, using that particular piece. Just in case the cut list is a little confusing can always marry it up with what I'm saying and what the banners are that are running across the bottom. Okay, we're going to flip those pages back and we are going to start with page one. Okay, page one um, is going to have two components. It's going to have a pocket and it's going to have a flap. So the flap is four and a half by seven and we're going to score at the half inch on the four and a half inch side. So four and a half inches this way, score it half an inch. It's gonna be tucked in. The words are actually upside down, but it's gonna be applied to the page this way. Okay, so that's again, four and a half by seven, score it half inch on the four and a half inch side. Okay, we're gonna tuck that behind. And I'm gonna turn the book so that I can actually see where I'm applying it instead of trying to look over. I'm gonna flip it over so I can see both edges. We're gonna apply this flap as close to the top of the pocket page as you can get. Okay, we're in. Okay, there is page one's first flap, okay? Of course, all this writing is gonna get covered. There we go. And then on the bottom, we're gonna apply a pocket and we're gonna use the same um, technique that we did over here. We're only gonna adhere the bottom and then we're gonna come back and pull the sides off after we get our designer paper in. Okay, and this is going pretty quickly. So hopefully we'll have 
all the uh, custom flaps in and be ready to actually decorate this a little bit later on. Okay, that is the end of page one. Okay, I'm gonna go over to page two. Page two, move this so you can see both the flaps. Page two is gonna be two flaps. This one's a little bit more complicated, but it's a lot of fun um, when it's in a book uh, as far as being interactive. This is gonna be seven and a half by four, and you're gonna go across the seven and a half inch side, score it half inch, and tuck that back. This one is five and a half by four, five and a half by four, and you're gonna go across the five and a half inch side and score at half inch. So there we go. So you have these two pieces. Now this one is the left flap, so it's gonna be applied to the left-hand side of page two, like so. It's a little hard to see black on black. And then what we're gonna do, once this is adhered to the flap, what we're gonna do with the second small flap is it's gonna get actually layered right on top so that it's centered um, on this flap. And then what we'll have is we'll have a flap that opens this way and then another larger flap that opens this way. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay, lay those down, starting with the large flap on the left side. I'm gonna tuck that under. And it can really go anywhere on the page, but I, for the purpose of this design, I've centered it. And I never really measure, I just eyeball. As long as it's straight, that's all that matters. Okay, so this one's gonna go here. So there's my left flap. And then the flap that's gonna to open to the right is gonna be mounted directly on top of that flap, like so. And so all I'm looking for is even space on either side. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Um, here in California, the weather's kind of taken a turn and it's cooling off finally. I don't know if it's short term, but at least today it's been really nice outside. So it's been pleasant. All right, and I'm just, like I said, I'm centering it on, on the flap that we, that we placed. And actually, I'm not terribly happy with that, so I'm gonna try to nudge it down a little. I didn't get it quite straight. Better, better, better. Okay, burnish, burnish, and that is the end of two. And so what we have is this kind of accordion fold, okay? So we have something on the inside, flap, flap. Okay, now moving on to page three. I'm gonna set the book aside so I can see the flaps. We are going to have two flaps. One is left, one is right. They're both the same size. They're four by seven and a half. So you have four by seven and a half. You have two of those. And then along the seven inch side is where we're gonna score at half inch. So that's gonna be the case for both. So along the seven inch side, score at half inch. Okay, and these are gonna go directly onto page three. All right, and I am going to layer these slightly off center um, so you can see more of the background paper once it gets installed. So I'm going to lay down my left flap first, which is going to be the flap near the spine. And I'm just, like I said, gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna go, I don't know, half inch, three quarter inches down. And whatever I do uh, here, oops. That jumped up on me. Whatever I do on this side, um, whatever distance I go down, I want to do the same thing on this side for the other flap. Okay. That looks pretty good. There we go. So there's a flap. And then I'm going to add the second flap. Same drill, this side. Look at that distance from, from here to the top of the um, pocket page and try to make that about the same. Okay. 
if you, you can't get a very good visual, the light in is not doing me any favors. I'm uh, taping this a little later in the day than, than usual, so it's the light's not great, but hopefully good enough for you guys to see what I'm doing. Okay, so then when we close it, we've got these two offset flaps. Okay, so that's page three. And then page four, we're gonna do the flaps up and down. So we're gonna have an up flap and a down flap. And it's the same thing, um, pretty straightforward. These measurements, and these two are equal size, these measurements are four by six. Four, I said four by six, but now that I'm measuring it, I think it's a little bit smaller. Yeah. Um, four by, I think it's four by five and seven eighths, four by five and seven eighths. And, um, and four by six will work too, but you'll just need to adjust the map. So that's four by five and seven eighths. And then on the five and seven eighths side, score half inch, half inch. Okay. And then these are going to go top. One on the top, one on the bottom. This is a nice size album, I think. Um, and these I'm going to do the same thing. I want them slightly offset. There we go. And then now this one is going to go on the bottom, just like this. Okay. And then once we get all the flaps in, believe it or not, we're just pretty soon we'll be halfway done. I'm going to come back through and we're going to do magnet placement uh, for the closures. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now we're on to page five. Set this aside. Page five. Page five is two equal size flaps five and a quarter by six and a half, five and a quarter by six and a half, along the six and a half inch side, score at half inch. Now, originally, I think I designed these to go up and down. And let me double check my, my uh, cardstock to see if, orientation matters. Sometimes, yeah, it does. So, and what I'm doing is I'm looking at the pre-cuts that I made that are going to layer on top. Sometimes you'll have a design that actually has an orientation and up, down, side to side, and I do. So I have to make sure I get my flaps in the, the way that I originally planned it, which is up and down. If you don't have direction on your print, it doesn't really matter. You can change the direction, just whatever you feel like doing and whatever looks interesting the day you're putting it together. Um, but because I have pre-cut on my paper, I know some, some pages do have orientation. Now this one, rather than having it offset like I've done in the last two, I'm going to actually stack these two flaps right on top of each other. So I'm going to center. It says top, so I'm going to set that aside and I'll actually use this one which says bottom. Um, I'm going to center it on the seven inch page. There we go. And then I'm going to flip it upside down so I can see the edge of the top. And then I want to make sure that when the flap is closed, it's lining up with this flap down here. So I'm going to lay down the paper and then wiggle it into place at the top using that as my guide. Oops, I thought I'd press down, but I guess I had not. Okay, that looks pretty good. There we go. Nice, oh shoot, see, I, I'm off. That's no good. I can't live with that, so that's gonna have to come up and get straightened out. So you guys are gonna get to watch me straighten that out. Where is my spatula tool? Oh, I don't see it, that's frustrating. Um, it's actually straight on top. That's even more frustrating. 
All right, so the other way to correct this, you can either take it off and, and straighten it out, or you can straighten these edges and then change your score line, which is what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna press through, and now you can see these are lined up again because I pressed through up this way. So that's the, there's two ways to do it. Either take the flap off and try to straighten it or change your score line slightly. And it wasn't off by very much, so it was easy to change the score line. That is the end of page five. Page six. Okay, page six, we have two flaps. This is a very basic book, as you can tell. Um, we have a, a right flap and a left flap. And these are gonna go together like a door. So they're gonna be applied this way on the very edges of the pocket page. I'm gonna go ahead and take the tape off. This is seven by four. You're gonna need two of those. And on the four inch side, you're gonna score at half inch so that this is actually three and a half inches wide, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and peel this. And then the trick on these, just like the, the one where I lined up, when the, when the flaps actually line up, it's a little bit harder to put it in the book because you're trying very hard to, to line the top and the bottom. When they're offset, that's the other reason I like to do it. It's interesting visually, but they're a lot easier to put down because you're not trying to match edges. Okay, so put this down right on the edge. There we go, and see it's right inside here too. Keeping track of all of those things can be a little bit of a challenge, but they're pretty when they're down, so it's worth the effort. Now we're gonna go the other direction. I'm gonna have to turn the book over so I can see what I'm doing. And you want it to, when they're laying down flat, marry up nicely and not overlap so that they open easily. So I'm pressing this down. Um, so that it's as tight to the uh, pocket page as possible so I can push this forward until it finds its natural mate meeting point. Okay, that looks pretty good. Everything looks good, so I am going to lay this down. There we go. And hopefully that is coming across visually um, as I'm describing it. It's not that easy to see on the black, I know. But Okay, so that that's the end of that. Okay, here we go, page, so I'm sitting back down. It's too hard to stand up. So it's gonna go, this flap, the five and a half by four and a half, is going to be attached to the right-hand side of page seven. And we're gonna attach it as close to the edge as we can get, and we're gonna center it. So, it is gonna go right about there. I'm okay. eight is our last page and page eight is a mirror of page one and you'll find i do that frequently <laughs> by page eight i'm running out of ideas <laughs> so page eight is um, going to get laid down on top of um the the last page and it's we're going to attach the hinge of this as close to the edge of the pocket as possible when i say pocket i mean the pocket page so this is four and a half by seven along the four and a half inch side, score at half inch, four and a half by seven. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over so I can see the edge when I place the um, flap. Okay, that is down. And then on the very bottom is going to be a pocket right here. And we are only going to adhere one of the three sides and that is so when we come back to put the designer paper, we can wiggle it underneath this pocket and then take off the edges. Okay, and I'm just lining it up with the edge of page eight. Okay, that's it. We have put down all the pockets and flaps for um, the 7x7 mini album. So I'm going to take a quick break.